Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be adding a two-digit number with a one-digit number. I'm going to tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today on the show, we are going to be adding two-digit numbers plus a one-digit number. Do you remember what a two-digit number is? A two-digit number looks like this. It is basically two numbers. It could be 61, it could be 18, or it could even be 30. These are two numbers, a two-digit number. And a one-digit number is anything like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Those are one-digit numbers, all right? So let's get started and let's write a problem. Um, let's put in a problem like this. 12 plus 2. Let's just make it kind of easy for right now. So right away, you know that 12 plus 2, let me see, 12 plus 2, 12, 13, 14, okay? But we want to tr try to work it out a little bit different, all right? Instead of just writing 14. What I want you to do is that there's some rules. First of all, I want you to add the ones first, okay? So let's just add the one. We're going to add a piece of paper right here, and let's go ahead and just add the ones. 2 plus 2 is 4. Now it says regroup if needed. What does regroup mean? That means if I end up with a two-digit number right here, I have to put the tens over here. And we'll get with that in a little bit. But for right now, we don't have to regroup. So 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now I take the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And I put the 1 right there, OK? So I'm training you. I'm getting you ready to tackle some big numbers, OK? Are you ready to do it? All right, let's start it. Okay, here's our first big number that we're going to add, 18 plus 6. Now, in your workbook, you might see a square up here, all right? And that is for putting a number in the tens place, okay? Um, later on, you won't see this square, but it's kind of like a helper. So, first of all, what is our rules? Add the ones, okay? Sometimes when you're first starting out, if you would like to put a piece of paper right there, it's less confusing. So 8 plus 6, sometimes I like to just put six dots here to start out. So if you don't know what 8 plus 6 is, you can just go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? Our first reaction for doing something like that would be 8 plus 6, and you would put a 14 right here, okay? But if I were to add then the 1 plus 0, I'd put a 1. 18 plus 6 equals 114? No, all right? You know you did something wrong. So let's go back here, and 8 plus 6 is 14, okay? Now it says right here on number 2, regroup if needed, and you're going to hear something called carry. So you're going to carry that number over into the tens place. So that's like me taking that 1 now that's in the tens place, and I'm going to carry it right up there, okay? I'm going to put that 1 right here, all right? So 8 plus 6 equals 14, okay? Because the 1 was in the tens place, and I put it right here. So then I go 1 plus 1. I'm going to add the tens. That's my third step. 1 plus 1 would be 2, okay? All right. Now, before I go to the next problem, what I want you to see is that I'm going to rewrite this a little bit differently, okay? So let's just back up just a, a little bit here. Once again, 8 plus 6 is 14. I want you to start writing your numbers like this. 8 plus 6 is 14. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, let's do another problem. Okay, right now I have 43 plus 3. So first of all, add the 1s. If you want to, you can cover this up. 3 plus 3 equals 6. All right. No. You don't need to put anything in that box. I know it looks like you want to put a number in there, but don't put it in there. It's not 16. They're trying to trick you sometimes to think like, yeah, if I have a box, I always need to put a number in there. No, you don't need to. 3 plus, six, three, plus 3 equals 6. That's it. Don't do any more. Do I need to regroup? No. All right. Add the tens. 4 plus 0 equals 4. Okay. 
This is a really common mistake that you, will, uh, you might run into when you are first doing these type of problems is like you feel like you have to put a one there. It's like, no, it's not 16, all right? You don't always have to put a number in that box, okay? Repeat, you don't always have to put a number in that box. All right, let's go on to the next problem. Boom. Okay, we got 19 plus six. Oh, gotta put the box up there. Now you don't always have to put the box. And my next problem, I'm not gonna use the box, all right? But it's just a helper. Just kind of reminds you, oh, that's right. If I have to regroup, I have to put that number right there in the tens place. Okay, let's do this problem. Nine plus six. If you don't know how to do that, you can make some dots right down here in your smallest number. Try to always add the biggest numbers first, okay? Let's try it. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, ah, how did I do that? I, I know it's 15. Uh, oh, that's right, I have to carry, I have to regroup if needed. So I have to carry that one up here. Okay, I gotta put that one up here, okay? You might be thinking about that, but try to get it always in the habit of doing it this way. Nine plus six is 15. Write it like this, 15, okay? One plus one, we're adding the tens, one plus one equals two, 25, okay? All right, let's go uh, do another problem. Okay, I am not going to put a square in that box, okay? I think I can do it without it. So let's go ahead and add the ones, and I think I can do it without covering it up. So let's add six plus five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Six plus five is 11. So I write it like this, 11, okay? Three plus one is, you got it, four. Ready to do one more? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we are, 14 plus nine. I didn't put the box right there. If you wanna do it, go for it. Just a little bit of a helper. 14 plus nine, I like to add the biggest number first. If you want to, you can make four dots on the smallest number. Nine plus four, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? Remember, write 13 a little bit kind of slanted, like this, 13, all right? Got the ones here, got the tens there. I regrouped. Now I do number, step number three, you add the tens. One plus one equals two. 14 plus nine equals 23. All right, quiz time. What I want you to do is do these two problems right now. If you have to pause the video, you can, and then we're going to check our answers, all right? Okay, go ahead and pause the camera. All right, unpause. All right. What do we do first? We add the ones. Yeah, let's do it. Six plus one. Put the seven right here. Whoa, I don't need to put anything up here. You could have put that little box up here, but I don't have to put anything in that little box. It is a single digit number. It's not 17. Six plus one is seven. I don't need to regroup, all right? Now I do step three. Remember what step three is? Yeah, add the tens. Five plus zero equals five. How'd you do? All right, ready to go on to the next one? Let's do it, yeah. 38 plus eight. What do you do first? Add the ones. Eight plus eight is 16. So you write a one here and a six there. Remember, you regroup if you have to. I had to regroup right there. Third step, add the tens. All right, let's do it. Three plus one, what is it? Three plus one, four. 38 plus eight equals 46. How'd you do? I know you did well. Hey. I hope you're having a good time learning math. Math can be fun. Work it out, draw it out, and just discover. Remember, when you are doing double digit um, uh, addition with regrouping, they're gonna throw out a lot of different methods. Choose the one that works best for you. And check out my other videos on here. I have a lot of cool educational videos and drawing videos. Please like and subscribe my videos. And like always, have a fun day. We'll talk to you later. Adios, bye-bye.